Okay, so here's a quick video on how to use the dependent sources in the Falstead circuit simulator. So here, right here, we have a really simple circuit that has a current dependent voltage source that's taking the current from R right here and using it for the voltage source. So first, we're going to find the um, dependent source in active building blocks and then we'll go down here and find current controlled voltage source CCVS so we'll cl click on that and then just plop it right here now in order to get the current to go to here we need to make sure that it's in series so a shortcut is hitting with this hit space bar and that makes it so that we can drag these nodes so we'll open this up right here and then hitting W so that we can make a wire, another shortcut. We'll take this plus because we want our, since the current's going from left to right, we want our current to go from high to low. So we'll take the plus, put it right over here on the left node and then the negative on the right node. And then we'll see that the, the plus is connected to this node and the minus is connected to this node right here above it. So we'll just do the same thing. Boom, boom. Okay, and then you'll see that I have already have some values for these, so R is 6, and then I have this as 5, and then this K value is going to be 10. So to set this K value, what you have to do is right-click over here on your dependent source, go to Edit, and then you'll see this 2 times A. So the 2 is the default value that Falstead gives you. We're just going to replace that and put 10. Hit OK and then you are all set. That is your simulated circuit with a dependent source in it. Okay, so here I have another circuit that's using a voltage controlled current source and another current controlled voltage source. And another slightly more complicated circuit this time. So first we'll do this current controlled voltage source. So, uh, so we'll do that by right clicking, go to active building blocks, and then finding voltage or current controlled voltage source, and then just putting it right here. And then we'll do the same thing as we did last time. So we'll see that the current is going down through this 20 ohm resistor. So we'll just create a little gap here so that we can put it in series. And then again, we want to go from high to low. So we'll put the plus right out here and the minus over here so that it goes from high to low. And we'll already see that the current is going in the direction that we want. And then again, we'll see that the, we'll just copy right here. So the voltage goes, the plus side goes over here and the minus side goes over here. So here we have, uh, and then we can't forget that we want this to be multiplied by 11 because um, our current that goes through the 20 ohm is being multiplied by 11 over here. So here we have a voltage controlled current source, which was a little, which is a little bit different, but still quite simple. So here we'll go to active building blocks again. And then find the voltage controlled current source right here. And then we'll just put it down right here. Okay, so these A and B are the nodes that the voltage is um, being controlled. So here we see that the we want the voltage on the 15 ohm resistor. And we are going to connect the two nodes to A and B. So we'll take our wire and we'll connect the A node to the top and the B node to the bottom to each of those nodes. And then we want our sensor voltage, our current source is going up. We'll put the plus right here and the minus right here. And then once we get, we'll, to make this divide by 4.5, we'll go to edit and then we'll see that we see 0.1 times A minus B. So this is the default that Falstead will give you, so we can just get rid of that because we are not using that. 
and then we will divide by 4.5, hit OK, and then our current is set. So I think that pretty much covers everything that you need to know to be able to use dependent sources in Falstead. Thank you for watching. And remember that engineering is hard. It's hard.